but let's get to it. Let's get to it. Okay. So huge win, huge overtime win. Okay. But is anyone else ready to talk about defense? Are we finally ready to have this discussion or are we going to wait till it's too late? Okay. Cause yet again, the Leafs get a win and yet again, the Leafs didn't have to play right to get it. Come on, man. You know what I mean? The second and third goals, especially my goodness, wide open opportunities. And I warned you guys, I warned you this was happening to Freddie. I kept saying it, you know, it's not the goalie. The goalie is not going to be the, the thing that fixes the problem. And this is not because Jack Campbell isn't good. Jack Campbell is actually very good. I like what I see. But when you give wide open opportunities to any NHL player against any NHL goalie, there's a good chance, like at least 60, it's going in. These are NHL players and a team like Edmonton who's got absolute cannons and absolute snipers when they need to, okay? You can't give them opportunities. If I were playing a game, right, and I pulled the net like three times a game, just randomly, I pulled the goalie three times in a game and I always lost goal, uh, lost games by like three goals, right? You wouldn't say to me, hey, wow, you know, except for the three times where you pulled the net, you actually, your team actually played really well. You wouldn't say that to me. You'd be like, why are you pulling the net three times? You know, <laughs> that's what you'd be saying. And that's what I've been trying to tell you guys about the Leafs right now, okay? Yeah, we got the win, okay? But here it is, right? They give up small defensive opportunities that turn into big problems. So they don't do it often, right? They kept Edmonton to under 20 shots. Guys, that's incredible defense, right? But when they mess up, it's something so wide open, they might as well be just pulling the goalie, all right? And that's the problem, okay? So you can say you can say it's 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 Freddie, you can say it's Jack. You know what? It's the defense, the defensive side of the game, okay? We don't need Matthews tipping in shots in his own net, okay? We don't need Riley being out of position and not covering a man in front. You know, we don't need that stuff. All right? Because if we have it, I'm telling you, you can put any guy in net and he's gonna do worse than he would have if he were on a more defensive team. And that's just a fact. Okay, that's just a fact in hockey. It's hockey law. There's a physics to this thing, guys. You know, the more offense you have, right, you're sacrificing defense. The more times you sacrifice defense, the more your goalie has to either be a superstar or he's going to get lit up. You know, these are equal and opposite reactions. It's all science, guys. It's all science. This is not an opinion here. Okay, I'm telling you, this is hockey science. This happens in every league at every skill level. Right? If you sacrifice offense to keep getting defense, you're still not going to win games, you see? If you were all defense, but you can't hit the net, right? Eventually, they're going to find your weakness on defense because everybody's got one, even a strong defense, right? So it goes both ways. You have to have balance and you have to know when to actually cheat a little bit more offense and a little bit more defense, okay? And right now, for the ever since they played Edmonton the last time, okay? They haven't had a good defensive run since those three games. You know that sweep against Edmonton last time? That was the last time the Leafs played solid defense for like a good stretch, you know? So I, they, 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 they played decent enough for most of the game, but those mental lapses are as bad as pulling the goalie. So until they figure that out, you know, they're gonna have this problem. That game easily could have been 4-1 for us. Easily could have been 4-1, right? All right, so Campbell lets in a weak one through the legs and he did. That's a weak one through the legs. So what? I told you guys, Campbell coming in as a backup to take the place of your starter while he's injured, he's allowed to have one absolute crap goal a game. He's allowed, in my opinion. You earn that right when you have to sit on the bench for most of the season. Because how are you supposed to get hot? How are you supposed to get momentum, right? A, a, a backup is supposed to come in cold and figure out a way to get it done for one game. That's a hard thing to do. That is a hard thing to do in the NHL, and that's why a lot of the back backup goalies uh, these days are just as good as the, as the starters. They just need to be able to dial it in cold, and that's something starters can't do, all right? That is something that starters can't do very well, is to dial it in cold after like two weeks of not playing, right? And then the thing that a good backup does, uh, a, a, back, a good backup still can't do, is be good, like shut out good, for an entire month straight. You can't expect that of a backup goalie. So uh, he's doing his job. I got nothing but respect for Campbell right now. I am not throwing him under the bus by saying he let in a weak goal. What I'm saying is that's the one he's allowed. And the other ones, again, same problem we had when Freddie was in net. 
bad defensive play. And that's it. So the good news is we won all right so this is not anger this is not frustration i'm telling you the breakdown of the game because that's what we do here we're just having some fun we're talking about hockey i love this stuff even when it's not going my way i still love seeing it how it breaks down i love seeing the story of it all all right and right now the story of it all is if the leafs don't figure out their defense and get back to the way they were the last time they played edmonton and through the bulk of the first chunk of the season there okay if they can't get back to that they're going to be done for but if they can if they can, they can go on a run that will make history. So, that's a freebie right there for both goaltenders for doing their jobs all season. I love it. I got no problems with that. And luckily, man, we got some beautiful offense, don't we? Oh, that's another overtime winner that's just spectacular to watch, you know? Almost costly, though, again. Gave up a, a two-on-one the other way, was it? Um... And luckily they broke it up in time. I believe it was so chaotic, chaotic. And then just before you knew it was so oh, geez. John C oh, I forgot. Hey, I forgot that speaker was on over here. It's probably even loud for you guys. The actual computer speaker was on too. So I hope that wasn't too loud for you. But yes, uh, thank you for that. Thank you for the John Cena alert there. Oh, those alerts are great. We got the we got the um, the the follow ones, the subscription ones. They're all great. They all scare the crap out of me. So I hope you enjoy getting to do that. So there you go, guys. I'm telling you, we win, we win. So I am happy. I'm really happy that they pulled that off. Hopefully, it gets into Edmonton's head now, right? And then straight up, we take it to them anytime we have to play them for the rest of the season. That's what I hope. I hope that we're in their heads the same way Ottawa's in our heads. And stuff like that you know what i mean uh so that's what i think that's what i have to say man and i hope you dig it i want to know what you guys are saying now okay because you've been going off and i want to get to the chat there all right guys quick before you go i want to remind you i'm also on twitch after every leafs game just talking about what happened it's seriously blowing up way bigger than the gaming stuff so if you like nhl but you also like talking hockey come on out after every leafs game only on twitch <laughs>